welcome to the Carry On Gaming Podcast. Each week we come together and try to do this thing. Sometimes it works out, but usually not. My name is Grady. You can find me on Twitter, a friendly pest, and I'm joined by... I'm Stefan, and I agree with Grady's sentiment, and I look at our two views. Thank you for the two views. <laughs> One's probably me. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hellblaze underscore Sith, and behind the Carry On Gaming Twitter, which I don't know, so it'll be in the description below. Hi, I'm Dan. You can find me on Twitter at Jonathan Hi, I'm Chris. You can find me on Twitter at I am Universe Twenty Five. Right. Next. Anybody playing anything interesting this week? Or maybe we could start off by saying uh, the podcast has put out our latest song, which uh, Chris wrote, directed, produced uh, our cover of "That's the Way It Is" from Red Dead Redemption Two, which has received pretty good feedback from the people I've talked to. So, congratulations on your vision and execution, there, Chris. Yay, Chris, you did something useful. It, it was my <laughs> pleasure, you know. It was my pleasure, and Stefan, that means a lot. It really You're does. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, good times, good times. It only took us like six years, but we got it done. It took way too long. That I uh, I talked mis- briefly with Mr. Tushy last night, and he was saying that he liked it uh, better than our Hoist of the Colors, which has got to be recency bias, because Hoist of the Colors is significantly better but uh, I'm glad people are liking it. I don't know about that. Oh, it is. It's not even close. It's the Uh, problem with that's the way it is, is the original song's not that great, so we didn't really (laughs) have a chance. (laughs) I disagree. A great game. Uh, No, it's it's all energy from the game that makes you like that song. If you'd have just heard it outright, you wouldn't have liked it. I listen to that song on its own a lot. I like it. After you played the game. I have a confession to make. I was a big Daniel Lenoy's fan before the game. Uh, just saying. I only heard the song from the cover. <laughs> then you haven't played Red Dead Two. You didn't make too, it far enough. Into I did. I just, <laughs> I just don't pay attention to this sort of stuff. Yeah, if there's you a Willie really Nelson point, song in known. that game too. <laughs> oh, there is not. Yes, there is. Spoiler. Definitely tuberculosis. A song in there. Spoiler. <laughs> <Jesus. Thanks. laughs> that happens in R D Two. Excuse me. <laughs> the old West version of COVID. If there was a game I wish I could forget and play again, it's probably that one. That's probably the top of the list. Mine would be yep. Mass Effect 2. That's a pretty good Silent game, Silent Hill 1. No. Oh, yeah. That was the first game that ever actually freaked me out. Oh, Outlast for me. That's the game that freaked me out the most. He didn't finish it, so you could nope. play that without knowing what's going on. Nope. Dead Space I... 1 traumatized oh. me. <laughs> Dead, Dead Space, really? Yes. Yeah. Eerie, I guess. But I, I lasted I about an hour in Outlast, and then I gave up. I was like, nope, I'm not doing this. I, oh, I got really far. Fun. Yeah, I got really far into Outlast, and then I just, like, lost interest. I got pretty far into Outlast, too, but it's... Jesus, it's kind of ridiculous. When did Dying Light 2 come out, Dan? February. What? A week what? before What's Saints Row. I was asking about Dying Light 2. It's a shame that's not out. Uh, that'd be a fun one to stream I've, co-op. I oh got it God. pre-ordered. I cannot wait. But the, the first one is not held up well visually. So unless we played it on PC or something. Uh, I, I didn't find it bad playing it on Xbox One. Not at launch, you probably didn't. No, I when played it at launch. Time? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When was the last time you played it? Um, At launch. Yeah, it, hadn't, <laughs> it, it really hasn't aged all that well. We've gotten used to the higher resolution, and it's it's a bit rough. Yeah, I went back and tried to play it for the first time, and I stopped after 20 minutes. It made me feel sick, just like Sunset Overdrive does. Yeah, the really resolution. Oh. Those those early Xbox One games didn't have very good resolution. I'm gonna go back and play it, and then prove you all wrong. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Please do. I still I own. Well, it won't happen. No, I haven't played it. In- <laughs> Years. Well, don't forget, I played Bethesda games, so I'm kind of used to not high well, resolution. Bethesda games. <laughs> he's, he's used to shit resolution. Exactly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm used to it. Speaking of what we're playing, Dan, you like talking. Okay. Um, what have I been playing this week? So, yeah, I just so this morning I started. I booted up uh, an art, the Artful Escape off Game Pass. Uh, it's by mm-hmm. Annapurna Interactive. It's a really beautiful game. Uh, I think what I'm going to remember about this game the most is the soundtrack. There's some fantastic music. 
you play as Francis Vendeshi, the nephew of a famous folk singer who is called Johnson Vedetti, who where, who like plays folk music, has a tambourine, a guitar, and a, um, a harmonica, and does not bear resemblance to any real life uh, folk legends at all. <coughs> Bob Dylan, Jimmy but um, things like these. <laughs> But like, uh, as Francis, uh, you, you're like basically being groomed by the town. The town demanding that you follow in your uncle's footsteps. You play folk because he's a folk legend. Like, in like the game takes place at, at, on the 20th anniversary of your uncle's biggest hit, um, the like his album. And uh, he's dead now, and you're there to commemorate him. But your uh, your character, Francis, all he wants to really play is prog rock and space opera music. And you basically go on a journey of like discovering, you know, uh, what his real you know, st- style of music is. You know, it's like it's an adventure game, but a musical adventure game. It's really good. Like um, I've only played about an hour of it so far, but I really, I, I really, it's hooked me. So you basically get to play like Taylor Swift Simulator. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I think that's what you said. No. I played to the part where the aliens show up, and yeah, you go with them, and then I lost interest. Like, it's aliens? it's okay, but it's it's kind of a side-scrolling walking simulator with a lot of music in it. So I know a lot of people have enjoyed it, and I do like walking simulators, but it didn't grab me. Ah, uh, fair enough. I do want to try it out. I have not yet, but uh, I'm I'm down for it. I think. Anything else, Dan? What else? Oh, um, I I updated Watch Dogs Legion because they like they updated it, you know, with a 60 FPS patch. Nice. Runs a lot better now. Like uh, like um, I remember when I played that game for the first time, it just felt very sluggish because it was running at the 30 FPS. 60 <laughs> FPS makes it a lot more playable. And uh, yeah, I just enjoy driving around London causing mayhem. Like uh, that part of the game's fun. Story isn't uh, not so much. It's not a great story, but yeah, I like the open world's nice, and I like driving around it. And other than that, I went back and played a bit more of Ratchet and Clank. You know, wiping up a few of the side quests and um, uh, collectibles and stuff like that. That game's still beautiful, and it's still like still just a special. Well, how many months has it been now? Like three or four months later, like. Fantastic game, very definitely like a contender for game of the year for me, anyway. And uh, finally, a bit more of Day of the K2, still in the church, but we're slowly building up the community. And uh, yeah, that's still very fun, much fun. And uh, that's me, that's it for me this week. That's, that's not it for you. That's you forgot to mention something last week. You completed Psychonauts, too. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that uh, in the podcast. I, <laughs> yeah, that was after sorry, that was after last week's podcast. I forgot, yeah, I finished Psychonauts, too. And uh, that is probably that is another game of the year contender for me. Thank you very much, Grady, for uh, suggesting it. I probably wouldn't have downloaded it otherwise. And uh, yeah, that one can go to your head today. I'll allow it today. But uh, beautiful game. Uh, the, the last few uh, like last two hours like an absolute trip. <laughs> oh, it's it's really, it's really good. Um, and like uh, yeah. Brilliant work, um, Double Fine. Give them Banjo Kazooie license, uh, Microsoft. I want to see them do something with it. Give them all the licenses, Microsoft. Make them bigger. I want to take see Halo the away from three, four, three, and give it to Double Fine. <laughs> <laughs> take take the Elder Scrolls away from. Bethesda. We'll call it Grunt Hop, and it'll do be like not a grunt take the Elder Scrolls away from Bethesda. Oh, Damn yeah. you, hate Chris! For it, hate for it to work on launch. <laughs> I like my bugs. <laughs> yeah, it might be different. The bugs. I love the fair, bugs. Are, are pretty hilarious usually till they crash your game. And but you know, Chris, cares, right? what have you been playing? Sure. I've been playing with your heart. Um, here recently, I like I really got into um war planes, World War One fighters. Another, Which is a uh, VR fighter flying game. VR. Yes, sir. And it is, uh, it's stupid addictive. Like the feeling of flight and speed that you get, especially when you're flying like maybe 50 feet off the ground, you got to, you got to really have some, uh, some experience in the headset to not throw up all over yourself. I can play it for hours straight and not have any issues, but, uh, after what you said about your experience with a roller coaster game, oh, I think man. it might be a little a little rough on you because I mean you're it's 
like it's a roller coaster you're controlling pretty much doing loops barrel rolls you find yourself it's, like uh, it... bracing against the expected g-force yeah yeah that, that's what i was talking about yesterday when you're especially when you're coming to a stop on the runway yeah right. you're expecting it to you know give you the lunge forward when you actually stop and it just doesn't which is like it's kind of a letdown because you're so amped for it and then oh that's right this isn't real yeah, it, it's a it's a great game. Highly recommend it. Um, some more Saints and Sinners because you now I got to got to keep capturing footage for the uh, YouTube channel that I'm running all by myself. And yeah, to be fair, I've been busy this week <laughs> editing the podcast, making the video for your song. You know, you make me want to play Saints care. and Sinners again That's on the VR after watching your episode. Do it. And record yourself. I want to. I want to see you. Get that scared. would be amazing if you recorded that. Would be that. so good. I, then I could do a Chris. No one likes you. <laughs> if you want a reference for that, check out the latest episode of, of, of Chris's YouTube. You know what? That might be the perfect Halloween stream. Is for you to play that, that and stream it. God. Oh yeah. The the way you get into it and all right. And if animated, it it would be so. All right, do I'll it, do it. Do if we stuff. get to a hundred Twitter followers, that's so, okay. Never mind. Oh, it's gonna happen. Gonna have, it's gonna we happen. Don't time. We don't have enough time for How that. How many do we have? Fifty-one. Five. I wouldn't oh. bet we would get to fifty-five by the end of the month. So. All right. If we get to fifty-five, <laughs> I'll do it. That seems hey. more reasonable. I could create enough. Everyone who listens to this pro to this podcast. Uh, Here's your chance to prove Grady wrong, and I know you want to do it. <laughs> yeah. <And> I, <laughs> I know you want to do it real you know, everybody bad. Everybody doesn't hate me the way my friends do. <laughs> I like you, That's Grady. Just, I don't hate you, Grady. I just hate your behavior. See? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Grady. Actually, I don't feel bad, because everyone who comes on this podcast, I get ripped into. And when we have no guests, it's Grady. That's to be true. fair, you start it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we picked on Dan a whole bunch. Mm, Stop yeah, fighting pause, back. Pause. So. <laughs> Usually it's no fun when he, when he just lays there and takes it. <laughs> <laughs> you play anything else? Um, Seems like it, but I can't remember right now. I don't think so. Steph, go. Raccoon Lagoon. Um, <laughs> we won't talk about that. I played some Battlefield Five. Oh, I like I love the sport role. Um, I'm not really that much into FPSs anymore, but Battlefield has won my heart. I actually dropped Elder Scrolls Online to play with Grady last night. Uh, it's <gasps> great fun. I I recommend if you're not a Call of Duty fan, Battlefield is for you, and if you like FPSs, um, I've I actually won the match yesterday. I I, got, I get so into Battlefield. Um, I screamed when I got shot, uh, and then I was giving commands and crap uh yeah i get really into that sort of game uh i played some, i played some Elder scrolls online shock horror i completed the blackwood dlc i've decided so i'm level 203 now uh so i'm doing side quests now because i want to get an achievement the daggerfall champion uh elder scrolls has some dlc out next month deadlands which will conclude the gates of oblivion dlc so I'm interested in that. Uh, if you don't, haven't played the Blackwood DLC, it kind of ends not satisfactory. Um, it's So there's four ambitions, you only find three. So I think that will conclude that storyline. Um, but the new update they did is buggy as hell. I've been kicked out of the game about four or five times. And <clears throat> my attacks, the, the, it's just random enemies die all of a sudden. Um, and I got, yeah, it, it's glitchy as hell. They need to fix that. Uh, so hopefully they'll fix that on update 32. Mobile wise, I've just been playing Idol Mafia. Uh, that's about it for me. I've been busy with work. I'm going to play Halo Test Flight today though. At nice. 6 p.m. I think it's closed at 6. Well, it might be 6 p.m. your time. Yeah, no, 6 p.m. my time, not your time. Okay, yeah. I think you I think what? Paul said yesterday it's 6 to 10. Because I didn't, I didn't get a chance to play any of the big team battle multiplayer last night i wanted to so i'm gonna to try to get on there today but i've got so much to do after this podcast i don't I I even was, know if i'm gonna get there i was awake when it was uh launched at 1 a.m but i was like no i am stuck in the middle of elder scrolls so so the fact that battlefield managed to get me off elder scrolls says something about battlefield 5 
Uh, but I'm really looking forward to the new Battlefield. I don't I don't remember getting an invite to that game. Uh, hold on, let me check. You want uh, PC? Nope, nothing there. What game? Nothing there. Get what an game? Xbox. I don't care. Get what an game? Xbox. Big dummy. Battlefield. Oh. Yeah, get an Xbox. I don't think it's got crossplay. <sighs> well, that's stupid. That's stuff you your get, Xbox. You need to get an I, mean, S. I was busy anyway. I was an S. Busy anyway. Is fantastic. Three hundred dollars. I love opinion. Series X. I also well, course, managed to buy a <laughs> PlayStation Five. I uh, queued up for Ugh, forty why? minutes, and it's going to my brother. Oh, <laughs> waste the time. Because yeah. I don't, I, I, yeah. I, I don't think yeah. there's, I don't think there's any games on the PlayStation that interest me. Uh, but my brother is the Sony one in the family because someone has to be, so he's getting the PlayStation Five. I queued up for him. That's well very done. nice of you. Well done. I'm a good Despite brother. Dan's disapproval. <laughs> Yeah, uh, That's Brady. Like, if he had kept it, I would approve, but he didn't keep it. So. No, I was going to my brother. He He's the one who likes Sony, so I, I'm more Broaden Xbox. Broaden your horizons. I'm PC and Xbox. But, well, because I did buy a I PS4, um, but I literally played and it. it was worthless? Two games. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a bad console. It's just my game preferences are on Xbox. <laughs> just bad games. <laughs> well, it's kind of like Lion King, a shadowy place. You must never go there, Simba. You know what? I would get touches. one for um, Bloodborne 2 if that ever becomes a thing. Well, the more the more of their stuff's coming to PC, which is good for everybody. So. I like the port, the fact that they're port into PC now. If my PC well, can handle it, they need to get Bloodborne on PC then. Uh, um, also, that is not going to happen. Some exciting news. And stupid. Windows 11 is coming out on the 5th of October, so by the time this podcast is released, everyone should be on Windows 11. Yay! Right on, that's, that's great news for our sponsor. <laughs> yeah, well done, Happy Windows <clears throat> and Microsoft. Windows, you won the prize. And now we get to exclusively reveal that Steph was actually the lead architect all along. I'm not yeah. software development. Do not start spreading that sort of crap around. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Steph, the software development engineer. <sighs> licensed it's and approved don't because i i'm actually Certified. revising for my certs so no uh grady i don't, I don't think any potential enough of this slander <laughs> grady what have you been playing uh nothing steadily they've added a ton of games to game pass over the last week uh breath edge which is kind of you're in space, you're involved in some kind of accident, you gotta go out and craft things. So that looks bad. fun. It's actually pretty entertaining. It's got a it's, it's got, got a lot of humor. It's got the chicken, it. right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a yeah. chicken in it. Um, I'm just gonna download I, I, it for that. I've played probably forty five minutes of it so far and it's better than I expected. I don't know how far I'll play it, but uh, I think you if it sounds interesting you'll probably like it. And then I tried I am fish. Which uh, starts off as kind of a sluggish Marble Madness in the gameplay. Uh, and that both looks and plays better than I expected. But again, I don't know how far I'll go because it didn't really grab me too much. Sable came out. Uh, a lot of people speak really highly about the art. And I don't care for the animation. It seems like the animation is kind of a low frame rate compared to the world around it. And I'm, I'm not into that at all. I found that very jarring. And then uh, Lemnus Gate, I downloaded that to try that, and that feels so bad on the sticks mm. that uh, I didn't get through the tutorial. I spent, I spent probably ten minutes playing with settings trying to make that game not feel bad because the idea of it's really cool. It's like you're you're trying to accomplish this thing against another player, and you run out, and you do a thing, and then it's his turn, and he runs out and shoots you, right? So then on your next turn, you run out there again and shoot him, and they layer and overlap, and it it creates kind of like a big. 4D chess thing by the end of it, but so I really liked the concept, but I found it kind of unplayable at least on a gamepad. Uh, Would you not plug use? a keyboard in? I probably well, could, but I'm not going to. Pain uh, in the Mighty Goose, which people said was very Metal Slug, so I was immediately interested. And in my opinion, it plays more like Mega Man. Uh, so, and I didn't care for Mega Man too much, so I'm kind of out on that one. They added Marvel Avengers to Game Pass, but uh, apparently even yeah, free, I, I can't that. make myself play that game. So <laughs> He's got a great story. I'm sure it doesn't. Uh, and then <laughs> Scarlet Nexus strikes just, me as kind of like a the movies. DMC. But hey, no MCU slander. It's terrible, terrible. 
<laughs> the only good character is Superman. No, uh, I am I. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're, you're oh, I thought Aquaman was the best Marvel mm. character. You he makes people sweat. I'm going to Scarlet, Scarlet Nexus. <laughs> it's kind of a Scarlet. DMC, but anime-like, and I didn't expect to like it. But uh, so far, that's actually grabbing me a little bit. So I'm a fan of DMC type games anyway. Uh, and it's brighter, obviously. But I got attacked by a flower pot with model legs. I thought this is a cool game. Uh, so that sounds hot. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> flower pot was gonna... the bush. <laughs> it it did have some some foliage. Anyway. Other than that, so, uh, just been my, Battlefield Five kind of been my standby to pass the time lately, and then the uh, the Halo flights I participated in wasn't crazy about the arena mode without skill based matchmaking. Uh, and it's it's not even that I played that poorly, it's it's the way the game is built. You have to work really hard uh, if you're against good players, and I, I would say I broke even to to somewhat positive most games, but I was working way harder than I wanted to. But this weekend they're doing the big team battle flight, and I think. Maybe I will enjoy that a little more because it might play a little more casually, but I'm really looking forward to the actual launch when the skill-based matchmaking gets added and you can kind of play with people more in your realm and not have to work so hard. Uh, but yeah, that's been it for me. Did you say Mighty Goose plays like uh, Mega Man? In my opinion. I didn't play very far, but uh, I'm, the, I'm just, initially I'm it feels it. very Mega Man. I'm looking at it right now and it doesn't look like a good game at all. It it really looks like a mighty slug or a metal slug game. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out it's Mega Man ish. I guess yeah. I don't know. It might it might kind of evolve yeah, as damn. it goes. But uh, it didn't grab me. I, I don't side scrollers don't do it for me anymore. And metal slug is <laughs> metal slug is amazing. Just, you know it. I just yeah it is. Even I, just, I like metal slug. The side. Dan. T in there somewhere, Dan. Huh? <laughs> Do not slate the accent. Wait, most of your spelling oh, you has extra see. letters and you pronounce Golly, them. Oh, you bloody yank. It's like sing singular noise words. Metal. Metal. It doesn't have a T in it. It does. <laughs> no, it does not. I, I can hear the T because the pause is like, it's, it's a T. It, it, the absence of sound. It's like water. Sound. Yep. Yeah, water. <laughs> well, I do water. say water. But see, I can, I can, I can, I can hear the T. Yeah, Maybe I was. You can hear where the T's supposed to be. It. It's like when we Mario coin. You know, there's supposed to be a swear there. <laughs> Don't tell people. Right. That. Yeah, that makes sense. The the oh, brain yeah, people, fills in the. People just thought we just randomly put Mario coins in there after somebody yeah. said yeah. Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Bring. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Bring Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool for any, our savior. <laughs> any interesting news this week, Daniel? Uh, been a bit of a slow week this week, but there are a few bits. Uh, Tokyo Game Show's been on. Uh, not much that interests me, but if you're interested in uh, in uh, Final Fantasy games, we're getting Stranger yeah. of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, which is like an action-heavy focus that Final Fantasy spin-off. That's coming out on March 18th, 2022. Um, there's a demo out now on the PS5 for people if they want to check that out. It's not really my thing, cup of tea, so I wouldn't be, I won't be really checking it out. Um, that Monster Hunter Rise um, expansion Sunbreak is coming next year, and it's going to have like a massive new hub, monsters location. So if you have a Switch and you like Monster Hunter Rise, you're in luck because that's coming next year. Um, what else is coming? Sega has a new RPG called Sin Chronicle. It's a mobile RPG, so Steph, that's your game. You can uh, you can enjoy that. I'll give uh, mobile it go. games. Ugh. So um, Tokyo Game Show, you said. Yeah. Is, yeah. Great. Tune into that if you want. If you're interested in games with horrible voice acting, with a lot of characters going. <gasps> We're about to get cancelled. That was really good. Stories <laughs> that uh, that you need like five thousand wiki pages to keep track of, and stupid controllers. I'll be <laughs> all over it. <gasps> oh God! Um, Monster Hunter Rise <laughs> is coming to the PC in January. So if you don't have a Switch, you can also enjoy it because it's coming to the PC then. 
Um, and also, go if you like Ghosts and Goblins and Sonic, they're both coming to Monster Hunter Rise. Okay, that's weird, but okay, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic fighting the giant monster. That makes perfect sense. Um, I don't see an issue with it. Xbox had had like a, a bit of like a, a presence at the show. Uh, they launched, they finally launched Game Pass in Japan and Brazil and a few other places on the day and he wants to increase the Phil Spencer wants to increase their Japanese game lineup and to do that I've heard there's a rumor that um Tango Gameworks which is a based uh, studio are starting work on a new game uh with the director of the original Evil Within stepping in uh when they finish up Ghostwire Tokyo and that should be Xbox exclusive yeah, uh, you know that's the game pass red all. so so watch that space that could be interesting uh, that's about it for um for like uh, uh Tokyo Game Show. You're missing something. What? The most important thing. What? Starfield. Talent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say. <laughs> <laughs> well, Starfield in Japan will include Japanese texts and voices. How oh, dare yes. you miss out Starfield? Oh. You're welcome. How could I miss that? I made dance swear just for mentioning the game. It was boiling over. That's the only one so far. Damn, good job. It wasn't me. Um, outside the Tokyo Game Show, there has been a leak. So, Rockstar like accident like they were like rated in Korea. Uh, Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy Definitive Edition that's been rated in Korea, South Korea. So that's officially coming. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a buffed up remaster of Grand Theft Auto 3 San Andreas and Vice City and uh, that'll be coming probably early next year I imagine but yeah so that's that's definitely happening now it's been raided and uh, that's about it for the news waste of time um, I got some other news about Starfield you can now speak <laughs> yay uh, so Starfield will have over 150000 because I can't do numbers lines of dialogue which is 150, more 150,000 lines of dialogue yeah Thank okay. you, Grady. Which You're is welcome. more than Thank Skyrim for and Fallout 4. Combined or separate? <laughs> separate. <laughs> oh, okay. There's going to be a lot of dialogue. Damn, that is a lot of speaking. A lot of foreplay. You're going to... Yeah. So I'll drop ESO for Starfield. Oh, we, that was, yeah, we knew that was going to happen anyway. Yeah, that, that comes out in 2023. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 2023. <laughs> It'll be 2022. I'll do a cyberpunk and then get re-released in 2023. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get your head blown up in a minute, Grady. I ain't scared. You know what? Cyberpunk really wasn't that bad. I mean, after a couple patches, I played all the way through it and I enjoyed it. it was I find it just game. a hollow People game, even without cry. all the glitches. It's it's not much of a sandbox, but it yeah. seemed like the main plot and stuff might have been good. The side quest. I didn't uh, think it, it was very meh. I enjoyed the side quest. Like, here's, here's all your choices, but it only goes down one line. Yeah. Your choices that's true. don't matter. Like Mass Effect well, that 3. that sounds like Skyrim. Like every game <laughs> ever. Fallout 4. <laughs> or Fallout 3. Or your choices any... matter until they don't. <laughs> Except they don't really. <laughs> they matter when they give you like a free, like, um, free splash screens that you like, oh, this is what happened because of you at the Mass end of Fallout Effect. 3. Isn't it, isn't it about the journey though, Daniel? I mean,. No. Isn't it the sense that not it feels all. like the decisions is, are going to matter? But it's the, uh, not the point. You know, it's, when I it's, play... not the, it's meant to be the V show and it's the Johnny Silverhand yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. They, exactly. They wanted to get all the money out that they could, you know, from their Keanu Reeves uh, clone. And you the robot. Maybe did it for free. If, yeah, we probably. Did not. You don't know. If you're, uh, if you're looking to hire a, um, a celebrity to do voice acting, any kind of acting, and you want it to be good, <laughs> Keanu Reeves is not the guy you go to. Agreed, he's <laughs> terrible. He cannot <laughs> act. I'm sure he seems like a really good guy. Seems like, oh, you know, seems like kind of guy. I, I wouldn't want to hang out with him because he's probably back. he's probably really pretentious. Really but, not a good actor. Oh, he's take not. He's a lovely guy. But he a, a terrible actor. So Maybe, this I, is... Let's, let me, let's be honest here. Everything he's ever been in, Jim Carrey would have been better. <laughs> Matrix. So John Advocate. I could see Jim Carrey in the Matrix. That would be awesome. No, <laughs> better movie. Do not ruin the Matrix. 
they, they did really when they made those. the second and third one. Have you ever, it'll be that scene from Bruce Almighty where he t- he's tapping 50 keys at once, and then you'll just get the Matrix flash screen in the back. Hell yeah. Oh, I don't know why I waste my Saturday coming on here. They, we wasn't going to well, waste our whole Saturday, you but then you like... showed up late and we did. Hell yeah. <laughs> you don't oh, wait. excuse me. Who came <laughs> I was. I started off, and then Chris and Dan took 10 minutes to come on. <laughs> you were already late. You can't be mad at them. I didn't have audio issues. <laughs> the only one who wasn't <laughs> late. I was late on all this, um, like, celebrity <laughs> stuff. I, I actually think companies need to invest their money elsewhere because, obviously, that, that money gets, you know, given to, like, celebrities to do voice acting, and then we can have part of the game suffer. Dying Light 2's doing it. They've got Rosario Dawson. I don't know how, I wonder how much money they get. Oh, God, Creek. she's so hot. Who's that? Uh, Ahsoka from The Mandalorian Season 2. Yeah, I wouldn't oh. mind seeing... <laughs> Are you talking about Gina Rosario Carano? Rosario Dawson's Creek. We, we do not talk about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody Gina hell. Gina Carano. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is like a, another mess. How many minutes into the show are we? 32. <laughs> well, we've covered not much. <laughs> <laughs> So we need to do prep. Let's talk about That's how what we need Mega Man do. is. What about Mega Man? <laughs> so let's talk about how amazing all every Mega Man game is, even those 3D ones that everyone hated. Now, for me, Mega Man 2, you know, you can identify with this, Grady. Mega Man 2 is about one of the best games ever created. I don't uh, even remember which one I played. Mine was one with Zero in it, the one I played through. I played the one which was on the Game Boy That's Color. That's the dog, Mega Man dog. No, well, maybe. I don't remember the names. There was a red Mega Man looking dude that was like your evil brother or something. Yeah. Oh, that was three. Yeah, I think that's the one I played. It was pretty good, actually. Which one I, came I, out I on the it. Game Boy Pocket? I don't Damn, Game, Game Boy, Boy Pocket. Pocket. Tiny little baby. That's the one I yeah. played. The Game Boy Pocket. I was, Pocket. A, was, I was a Game Boy man thing. Boy. Well, you weren't even born when the Game Boy Pocket was released. Hush. Wasn't that the the little red one? And then shortly after it came out, the color came out. Yeah. The color was a joke because you could pick one color for your game. Red or blue. Well, that's what happens (laughs) when you plugged it into the Super (laughs) Nintendo. I remember getting so excited being able to plug uh, Pokemon Red into Super Nintendo for color. It's like, you can have it red, you can have it blue. (laughs) Yep. Good times. Remember the time before color came into gaming. (laughs) Back in the Stone Age. Or, uh, the Odyssey, yeah. The good old days when, when games were pure. <laughs> when we could only play Pong or a game with tanks. No, you had, Pong. Uh, prior Pong. to that, there was Magnavox. They had the Odyssey, and it was literally two squares. <laughs> I've seen footage of that. <laughs> yeah, you had to put an overlay on the screen. Like, yeah. it would be it's like, like a maze that you could walk through. Oh, no, Vectrix is badass compared to <laughs> this thing. And you have to, like, seriously put take this clear plastic thing with, like, designs on it, stick it to the television, and then that would be, like, your play field for the game. You know? Wow. It's like, it's yeah, amazing that you can go through, or you can just go straight dots. across. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. wow. Watch what a time to be alive in the 70s. I think it had light guns and everything, but I never saw a video of one of those working to know exactly I, how it interacted with I can't remember if that one game. had the light. I know that light gun gets you killed by a cop. <laughs> yeah? Because oh, yeah. that thing was super realistic looking. <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap this up, Dan. Yeah. Dan, take us home. Okay, so thanks for listening this week, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, <laughs> remember, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and apparently Instagram now. Yeah. Uh, is that... Yeah, I can see We have thanks Instagram. We have uh, Instagram because I found out you can link Facebook and Instagram in the business suite. So we have an Instagram now. I hooray. still don't know the handle of that. <laughs> well, I can subscribe so for some, pictures of yeah, Haggis some Instagram. whatever the hell these two are account out there in the ether you'll find yeah. it and then tell us where yeah. it is what, what should uh, folks do if for they've it. recently suffered a major hand injury <laughs> <laughs> so carry thanks on uh, gaming. listening guys uh, see you next week and remember no matter what happens just carry on gaming see you next but week wait, right. do you know why leather's the best armor to sneak in wait why wait, is that? wait 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 no, because it's made of hide
damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that one. And with that, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>